Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how I can create passport template for your photographs. So first thing I want to do is I want to go to File, New and I want to select Document Type Photo and Portrait 4x6. I'll click OK and there we go. So the first thing I want to do is I want just to just zoom in just a touch and as you can see right here on the top we've got some numbers. Those are like a ruler. Uh, so if you right click on it you can change pixels inches or centimeters i'm going to leave it centimeters if you don't see this command r or control r hide them and bring them back so cool so the first thing i want to do is i want just bring my document all the way to the top and zoom in just a touch more like so and i want to bring some guides down so with my move tool selected i'll just grab a guide and i'm going like five millimeters and another five which is half centimeter like so uh, if you go to Google you'll see that the size of the passport photos in UK it's 45 millimeters high and 35 wide so let me just minimize this so what I want to do is I want to one two three four and a half like so and now on the side I want just to bring one, two, three and a half centimeters like so there you go and as you can see right here we have nice area that we can place a photo but we want to make the most of this so what I'm going to do is very simple I'm just going to grab my marquee my rectangle marquee tool I want to make sure the feather is at zero and what I want to do is I just want to click right here on the corner like so and drag there you go so now we just create a new blank layer and we can fill this with any color so in this case my foreground color is black so I'll just fill it with black command D to deselect and there you go we have exactly what we are after so now all we have to do is just duplicate this layer so command J and holding shift uh, selecting move tool holding shift I'm just going to drag it to the side so something like so now I can just command E or control E to merge these two layers command J to duplicate and just bring it down like so and we have room for another set so command J again and I'll just bring it down like this as well there you go so now all I have to do is merge these layers so command control E command control E and now we have black in a separate layer but as you can see this is what it is we have transparent area around and in here it's filled with pixels so all we have to do now is very simple uh, I'm just going to reveal the background layer if you hold control or command and click on the thumbnail of layer one it loads that as a selection so you can come here create a new layer command shift I to invert the selection and let me just change the foreground color to white okay and alt backspace so now what we have here it's a nice template command D or control D to deselect and there we go we have a nice template all it's missing now it's actually a passport photo so we just drag a passport photo in like so resize it to fit like this so let me just try it. there you go so holding shift to retain the proportions of the photo and enter so all I have to do now is bring it below the top layer which is layer 2 like so and uh, just create the layer mask and just delete that extra part of the image so I'm just going to make my brush a bit bigger and harder like this and now all I have to do is command J duplicate 
V4 move tool and bring it to the side. Now command J, bring it down. Command J and we have another one. Command J or control J if you're using a PC like this and control J or command J and there you go. So there you go, super easy, super simple. You can go to any shop and print a six by four, super cheap, very cheap. And uh, for a very cheap price, you can get your passport photos. Just make sure you don't smile on the photos like on this photo. This is yours truly. And as you can see, I'm not smiling. I'm not showing my teeth and it has to be a neutral background as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with everyone you know. Also, feel free to uh, comment and ask me to do any tutorial that you may need or require. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.